Hey guys, still there, and welcome back to Victory at Sea, where we're jumping right into the action as Task Force 60 is being chased down by three destroyers, a battle cruiser, and an aircraft carrier. Now, these are three heavy cruisers of the Baltimore class, and I'm not sure if they're up against a Baltimore or, or against a battle cruiser. So I'm having them go north as Task Force 34 is making best speeds to try and intercept the enemy carrier. Well, not really carrier group, but task force. Task Force 46 is waiting to get resupplied at Iwo Jima. We have a couple of cargo ships coming in, but until those happen and until the port facilities get upgraded, we're just here to defend Iwo Jima. My main objective here with Iwo Jima is to nuke Hiroshima, but I believe I need aviation fuel for that, and that is something that Iwo Jima just does not have. So, as much as we have a nuke there and a B-29, we simply cannot launch it. In the meanwhile, I'm also trying to do a little scouting on Palo Islands with six cruisers. I'm building more ships and my shipyards, especially to defend my northern reach, which has been completely taken over by the Japanese. And with, I believe, six Essex aircraft carriers running off the shipyards in a couple of months' time, we should be fine there. Um, and that is pretty much all that's going on. Other than that, there's not too much that I'm doing. They're collecting from Kavyang. These guys were going to be resupplied. There you go. Uh, I know I should be adding destroyers to a task force of carriers, but they always seem to run out of fuel. And I hate that. So instead, I'll have these guys do a bit of patrol near Guam. So, Task Force 60. 60 has been under air attack repeatedly. But so far, when I switched to... Apparently I didn't do that in time. When I switch to the combat view, the aircraft simply don't stand a chance. They immediately get shot down the moment they get into range. However, that did... Whoa. That did not quite seem to happen when the dive bombers came in. I'm not sure if they're trying to drop their bombs from an extreme altitude where I simply cannot reach them, or if they're doing anything else. But I'm currently not really shooting these things down. Let's have a look at what's in the Bismarck Sea. Right. Um, L divers, three, four. Five, six. Off you go then. That will give those guys something to do. Back to combat for 60. Because it seems like we have an awfully much, much better chance at shooting down aircraft in this view. It's like the game just calculates it differently when you're not in the combat viewer. It's like the AA isn't quite as accurate, and that it just doesn't work as well. Okay, this is their battle cruiser. Oh, that's three more Baltimores. I'm gonna have to order these things around. Um, here, back to sixty. Because for some reason they seem to have a couple of zeros airborne. I think they might be trying to get at a spotter plane or something. But seriously, flying zeros directly over a heavy cruiser is not a good idea. Quincy is closing the formation. I think the zeros might be out of range. Here come the dive bombers again. It's like they're doing a patrol around my task force. Making sure that there are no aircraft or something? I don't really know. Come on, boys. A little closer. Sir. Hold up. 
Boom. They're already taking fire. Again, the AA animation sucks. That's one flight dead. But they seem to be doing their job regardless of whether the animation is proper or not. They've shut down the whole flight. There's another two, maybe, aircraft up there. Yeah. Two valves. Right over my task force. I seem to be backing off, though. Let's go back to the bridge. No, I'm mostly using this task force as a kiting group. Hang on. Oh, we're also under dive bomber attack from Manaquari. That would make sense. Okay. Yeah, they still don't have the range. Which ship is slowest in this fleet? Because I know that my Yorktowns are really fast. 32, 37, 32, 37. So, somebody is not really using their engines to the max. Which is what I would rather like to see. Have these ships operate at maximum speed. They're all at balance. Some of these are at morale. Um, go for even crew distribution on all of them. Again, this is something that they need to have a select all for instead of me having to click every single ship manually. Alright. Does this speed up the task force? It does not. Shit. See? If I'm not in combat view, these dive bombers can get right close to the task force and hit them. Which is a little ridiculous. Because that means that if you have several engagements going on at the same time, you simply wouldn't be able to hold everybody off of you. Why... Are these guns not operating? Or none of them operational? Alright, 60. You're gonna have to go back to truck. Which is where they started not too long ago. Jesus, they're sending out a large group of fighters here. Hold on, I thought I told these guys to start going for this convoy. So why am I not seeing that? divers. Go. This is not going well. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Try to send a strike. They're sending. Quincy's about 40% hit points, maybe. Is that it? Oh, you're still launching. I was a little worried. I thought, this is all that they're sending. That would have been a bit small to go up against an enemy task force like that. Okay, tell me what's going on here. They're almost at them. 60. Does not seem to have lost any further hit points. This is just easy pickings. Just, well, pretty much pissing off the Japanese a little. Now there's two cargo ships. 
I don't really think that a super fortress is going to be <laughs> too capable. Alright, we're going to have a super fortress engage Madang. That's going to be interesting. Okay, run, rabbit, run. Hold on. There's a small group of fighters around. The problem is that the fighters from this task force don't quite have the range, I think. That lonely dive bomber there is not too much of a concern. Alright, the Palo Islands have been scouted. Can six cruisers take that on? We're about to find out. We're getting hit again, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> that is so annoying. <laughs> Alright, if you guys can whack that battle cruiser, then Task Force 60 can mop up the survivors, the destroyers, and the aircraft carrier. I'm going to go back into combat view. I don't want to suffer any further airstrikes. So, which among you thinks it's a good idea to come after the air or after the cruisers? And they're gone. There they are. Hold on. Pittsburgh, you're up. Up for defending the task force. Come on over. Because boy, do we have plenty of AA for you. I still haven't quite worked out how time acceleration works in relation to the dive bomber strikes. Or the AA going off against them. I'm not sure if they actually speed up, if they just skip the animation, or if they don't shoot at all. I'm trying to work it out, but so far, I simply don't know. What the hell are you doing? They're definitely taking fire. Taking flak fire from, I think, the Pittsburgh. But I have no idea if it's doing anything because their health pool, I don't think, is dropping. And okay, now they're out of range. Okay. These are my dive bombers. Most of them, anyway. Come on, I want this task force out of the way. To destroy. Are you going to engage the destroyers? You're going to engage the destroyers. Ooh, no more destroyers. Time to. Oh, never mind. No, 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 no. These guys lost a bit too much hit points from their pool. We're not going to do that. Hold on, didn't I already have a USS Helena? Somewhere? Come on, kill him. Do it now. That's the aircraft carrier dead. Oh, that battle cruiser is right on the brink. Like, there's not a whole lot left of it. And yes, I know it's a little boring to watch this from bridge view, but the other view I simply don't trust. There you go, enemy fleet destroyed. Uh, 34. Head south. Now, Task Force 59. This is going to be interesting. Because normally when I assault an island, I bring an aircraft carrier. Or two, or three, or four. This time around, not so much. This time around... I'm just bringing cruisers. Uh, we're first going to have to do something about those to 
torpedo boats. Start. Task Force 59. Holy shit. Those torpedo boats are not going to be with us for much longer. One down. Two down. So we have the two go and the six go. Oh my god, this is bloody murder. Those poor things. I mean, I understand that this is their well, job, but... Good day, sir. There you go. Enemy fully destroyed. Now, at least these guys have a good amount of ammunition. Moving on to Palo Islands. I want you... I can barely make out what they have over here. That's a gun. That's a gun emplacement. That might be a gun emplacement, and this is another one. There's another one. Alright, gentlemen. Try not to get your ass kicked by a couple of land installations. Aircraft? Spotter plane. Whoa, 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 they're firing. Okay, good. If at all possible, I would love to capture this thing as intact as possible. That's not how you do it. They're just shooting the crap out of everything. Can you even target specific installations? Like, can you do that? Nope, they're just blowing up oil tanks left, right and center. Okay. Well, I guess we will not be capturing a lot of this port intact. Okay. Let's have them handle it. The rest of the assaults. Oh, right. Didn't we have an aircraft striking Madang? Did. Is this still not being repaired? Is that because we have those glitched torpedo boats out there? Is that the problem? Because that would really suck. See, my planes take off and then go... No, we don't know where they are. Goodbye. <laughs> Glorious. Go. This is not helping. Alright, we still have 35 ships inbound. Iwo Jima can be upgraded to a major port, but only for 1500 war bonds. You know what? Since truck isn't doing much of anything at the moment, I'm going to be building a couple more cargo ships. Three victories there. Uh, Pearl Harbor. I would like a couple of oilers, please. One, two, and a victory. Go. Okay. How are my cruisers doing? Task Force 60. Yeah, is going back to truck to get repaired. Speed it up immensely. Successfully occupied Palo Islands. And we've also spotted... Ooh! Curious. I wonder where you're headed. Maybe to Embon? Philippine Sea? Oh, there's more. Task Force 59! Jesus, they got their ass kicked! By shore installations, which... According to the game... Were heavily damaged. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> There's a battleship and an aircraft carrier coming this way. Um, 
help? <laughs> this is not gonna go well for Task Force 59. Run the fuck away. They can have Palo Islands if they really want them. Because as they're working on that... Really? As they're working on that, I'll be working on taking over Madang and potentially the other part. Shit. Okay. How are my aircraft carriers out of fuel? Aviation fuel is available. Out of fuel. I don't believe we're actually out of fuel. I believe we're out of planes. I believe Task Force 34 has lost some aircraft. Which sucks, but for the moment there's not a whole lot that I can do about that. is net out of five cruisers. Enter combat. Maybe, again, if I switch to manual, I can actually shoot down some aircraft before they harm my group. Yep, that's one more down. Those things look like they're on an attack run. At a pretty weird angle, I might add. Like, what are you trying? Are you going to come in directly from the stern of the Bakersfield? Do you really think that that's going to work. Yeah, I guess not. There's another Kate off the stern of the Jacksonville. I think they're backing off. Skies are clear? Skies might be clear. Gentlemen, now would not be the right time to move at 17 knots. We lost the Bakersfield? Well, one of the Bakersfields. How did that happen? Like... I saw five cruisers a couple of seconds ago. One, two, three, four. I still see five cruisers. Oh! You have like a slither of health. Like a tiny bit. Now this is something I don't quite understand or might not be modeled correctly. Despite the fact that the Japanese kicked the shit out of this cruiser, it still has all of its crew. It still has absolutely every single member of its crew, and it's not the only ship. The other cruisers have exactly the same thing, despite the fact that they were attacked, yes or no. So, the crew, and or the loss of the crew, is apparently not really going to be a problem. Those crew members supposedly can handle everything. Now, could somebody explain to me how we're being attacked by aircraft? And how are we losing Hellcats to a bunch of dive bombers? There you go. Right, well... The closest area aircraft carrier group that I have is at Iwo Jima. Hmm. I could send those south. But I really don't want to leave Iwo Jima undefended. And I have seen what an aircraft carrier or two could do against a couple of battleships. I am not eager to see that again. Well, I guess they're going to take back Palo Island. Can we have everybody focus on repairs here, please? <laughs> Try holding shift. Nope, no joy. Hold on. It's a system damage to enable launch aircraft. That's for the catapults. I don't really care. I would really like for the Bakersfield to prioritize repairing its engines. Which apparently are not a problem. Propellers have been damaged, minus five knots. But the 
Bakersfield can usually do 32 knots. So there's something else going on. Where are your engines? Turbines. They're pretty much at full, so we're almost getting a whole knot extra. Okay, well, the crew's not going to like it, but I do want to have maximum AA operational. They can bitch and moan all they want, but unless we man the local AA, there won't be a crew pretty soon. Preparing the the agile. Okay, that's apparently a particular spec of this ship. Bakersfield, whatever AA you have left, see that it's manned. Vegas, Vegas, where's your here's your AA. There you go, bridge. Here they come again. <sighs> Speed 17 knots. If they hit that Bakersfield, we are going to lose the ship. Oh, we're speeding up? Really? We're doing 34 knots. That is hopeful. And now we're doing 11 knots. Please shoot down those dive bombers before they cause any more issues. And they will cause issues. Come on, get them. You guys even noticing my AA yet? I mean, you're right overhead. 33% operational. It's one of the Bakersfields. Something's not quite right here. The local AA, as far as I know, is different from the port light guns and the main turrets. But I'm going to check just to be sure. Um... Jacksonville. I want your light guns operational. So that's your port light guns and your starboard light guns. Baton Rouge, same deal. And again, I don't like that I have to do all of this manually. I appreciate the fact that there's micromanagement involved. But this is a bit much. I want to just have all ships selected so I can drag all of this stuff to maximum for all of these ships. Or better yet, maybe have some sort of uh, first priority AA, second priority repair. That would be ideal, actually. Just having some sort of priority system for the ships. Because this seems to be unnecessary bureaucratic shit. Still with us. You're still with us. Well, wow. not a whole lot. Come on. Well, oh, they're leaving. We're still moving off at about 17 knots. Oh dear. Kate's incoming. <sighs> keep running, keep running, keep running. At least the port light guns are operational. Starboard light guns are not. These ships... Yeah, all of their port and starboard light guns operational. Okay, so what are we looking at? Flight of three kates. 
Looks like they're attacking the healthy Bakersfield of the two of them. Come on, buddy. That's one down. Again, AA is going all over the place. Now it looks like the AA is actually engaging. Instead of, in the previous video, where it was firing to the front, to the starboard, to the uh, port side, and to the back at the same time, and not doing anything useful. Now you actually shot... You're gonna have to explain this. Like, seriously. I knew that the Bakersfield is probably not going to survive. But... What? According to the game, there was no sort of flooding or no warning of any indication... Or sorry, no indication of any threat to the ship. It was not on fire. It was not flooding. But... This is weird. <laughs> this is really weird. Alright. Well... I'd say the weirdness ends here. I'm going to cut the episode here. Um, next time, I hope to be taking over Madang. And with it, maybe move on a little further. And we are seriously going to need some more firepower to deal with the ships down here. Until we have those under control, we're going to be in the shit for a little Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next one.